This is me taking a picture of the bowlers at Special Olympics practice for Special Olympics. Thank you. Hello, David. How are you? Pretty good. You remember the Dawson Creek Special Olympics here? Yes, I am. Okay. Why did you join Special Olympics, David? Because I get to interact and meet other people and make friends and because I was, I was accepted for who I was and not by my disability. That's why I got involved in Special Olympics. What is your proudest achievement in Special Olympics? Making it, going all the way to Quebec City for nationals for five pin bowling. When did you do that? Three years ago, I believe. Okay, you're right. We did go to nationals, but I think we went to Thunder Bay, not Quebec City. You okay, did that Thunder when you Bay, were Ontario. skiing. Sorry, sorry, yes. I do. Okay. Has Special Olympics made a difference in your life? Yes, it made a, a difference in my life because I got to go around and travel and compete in all different kinds of sports and I achieved things and I got medals and our motto is let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Okay. Have you created and met new friends while you're doing Special Olympics? Yes, I made friends in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and Prince George, and Fort John, and everywhere. I made lots of friends, and I made friends, and made friends with a whole bunch of awesome coaches that we got across BC. Do you think the Dawson Creek community supports Special O in Dawson Creek? Yes, I do. I think the businesses support us and they donate money for us to be able to travel and get sports equipment. But yes, they, spawn, they, they support us 100%. So do you believe Dawson Creek is a inclusive community? Yes, I do, 100%. Inclusive community where they, they accept people with lived experiences 100% and they don't discriminate against us, no matter what. Well, thank you, David. One last question for you. What do you think of the volunteer and your coaches you've had so far in your Special Olympics career? I think the volunteers were awesome. They come out and they have fun and they push us and help us to achieve our goals and to better ourselves in all aspects of sports. So that's what I like about volunteers and coaches. Excellent, well thank you for your time. Okay. So Jack, can you tell me what your expectations is for the athletes at the Provincial Games this year? Expectations, same as always, go down, represent our Region 8 very well, compete hard, compete fair, and most of all, have fun and enjoy the experience with all the other athletes in the province. Okay, another question I want to ask is, what made you get involved in coaching Special Olympics athletes? I've been a coach all my life, and once I bought the bowling alley here 11 years ago, I thought it was a natural fit, so I started coaching Special O, and I really enjoy it, and we've just been going on there. Thank you for allowing me to interview you today. Oh, Derek, can you tell me how Special Olympics has changed your life? Special Olympics has changed my life a lot with families and friend, family and friends okay. and, and coaches. Okay. Why did you join Special Olympics? Because, because I wanted to be involved in sports. Okay. What do you expect when you go to the provincials for the first time? I expect to do the best I can and do... Do the best I can and enjoy the time I enjoy myself there. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. And can you tell me what made you get involved with Special Olympics? Oh my goodness. I started with Special Olympics probably 20 years ago. Um, I took the coaches training and 
Oh, somebody talked me into it. I don't even remember who now. But I, when I got my coaching certificate, I started to coach Club Fit. Okay. So how many years have you been coaching for Special Olympics? I'm eating because I'm having a sugar roll. That's okay. Um... I'm thinking here, David, you're asking me tough questions. Um, 2000, 2002, in there somewhere. Okay, so I hear that you're going as a coach to provincials on February 2nd to February 5th with speed skating. So what is your expectation for your speed skater athlete when they get to provincials? Well, I expect her just to do her best have a good time, we'll follow the rules, and whatever happens, happens. Just have a good time and do her best. Okay. How has Special Olympics made a difference in your life? Oh my goodness. I got to know lots of athletes over the years. I coached downhill skiing. I coach bowling, and I coach club fit, and we don't have club fit anymore because I don't know what happened to all the equipment. Okay, my last question. How many athletes are competing in Special Olympics in Dawson Creek? 35. 35. Okay, thank you for your time and thank you for your interview today. What made you get involved in Special Olympics? Uh, through bowling. Okay. And through how, yeah. how did it make you feel when you heard that you were chosen to go to Provincials in Kamloops? I was very happy and, and excited. So what is your expectations for yourself when you get to provincials in Kamloops? See fa family, they can come down and watch me. Okay. Yeah. My last question, what's your proudest achievement in Special Olympics in Hull? In Hull? It's fun, fun and meet a lot of new people. Okay, thank you for your interview today. Hi Claire, I would like to know how you got involved with Special Olympics. I got involved with Special Olympics when I was in high school and I started with bowling and bocce. What other sports do you do, and which one is your favorite? Uh, I also do cleffit, swimming, floor hockey, rhythmic gymnastics, soccer, softball, curling. My favorite sport is swimming and floor hockey. What is your favorite Special Olympics memory or achievement? My favorite achievement is winning ribbons for the 25 meter freestyle swimming. <laughs> Good morning, Carmel. What do you like about being part of Special Olympics? I like being part of Special Olympics because I like making more friends. Okay, good. What's your proudest achievement with Special Olympics? My proudest achievement with Special Olympics is when I went to provincial games for two different sports. In 2013, I went for rhythmic gymnastics, and in 2017, I went for swimming. Nice. How has the Special Olympics made a difference in your life? Special Olympics made me more active, and I like com in sports and I like competing in my sports. Good job.
What's up everybody, welcome back to the mini series. Today I am interviewing my hockey coach, the man, the legend, Max Smith. Hi everybody. Why do you like being part of Special Olympics? I like being a part of the Special Olympics because I love these guys. Um, they're fun to play, they're fun to work with. I've been working with them for about 20 years. Uh, Daniel probably about 10 and I love everything about the whole sport. We play floor hockey here once a week and they're just an easy, fun bunch of guys to coach. That's why I like Special Olympics. Thank you, Mike Smith. You're welcome. See you next Dan. time with a new series. <laughs>